uh, just downloaded it and figured we'd jump into it. Planning to leave all the resource settings how I found them. Um, the only thing I really did was put a name in and we're going to get into it. Tips. Right click on a machine in your inventory to build it without the need of moving it to your hotbar. That's probably good to know. Launching drop pod. Okay. Scanning potential landing area. Okay. Initiate planetary landing. Okay. Welcome oh, look at this thing. Carl, your facility management artificial intelligence. What's up, Carl? Look at this thing. This resource rich moon has been selected for the foundry initiative with the goal of converting it into a manufacturing hub. Construction work has already started and many teams, just like us, have been deployed with their initial assignments. Our task is to establish mining and smelting operations to ensure a steady supply of essential metals. Okay. My goal is to assist you in setting up this factory. Let's run a few basic checks before we get started. Open your map to check your surroundings. Fantastic. There are several ore patches in the vicinity. Equip your ore scanner from the inventory and use it to locate the ore patches. Um, okay, so I don't see the ore scanner. Press B. Well, there we go. To get started, approach both of the ore patches and mine some more. So we want to find tenium or technium. Looks like it's right over here. I'm just going to mine some. No biggie. Almost there. Got it. Great. Now that we have an initial supply of ore, we need to smelt it into plates and rods. Go back to your drop pod and use the built-in smelters to create your first crafting materials. Must be back here, right? Let's see. Insert. And then insert. This seems pretty simple, I'm not gonna lie. Let's get some 945. We need 10 apiece. We'll take those. And we'll take those. Now that we have basic materials available, we should start crafting building blocks which act as a foundation for other buildings. To do so, you need to open the crafting menu and click the desired items. Then, place them in the shape of a platform next to one of the ore patches. The orange ore will be in higher demand. I suggest starting with that. So should we finish mining all this up real quick? Just get it out of the way. Why waste it, you know? And then once we do this, we'll go ahead and start placing the building blocks around this one. And I imagine we don't want it directly on top of it, so we're going to just kind of line the outside of it. Okay, so let's bring our building blocks here. Well, those are a lot smaller than I thought. Looks like we need more plates and rods.
Gotta place 30 of them, so we might as well. Okay. Or extraction, we need to set up a drone miner. Craft one and place it on top of your foundation right next to the ore patch. They're not craft one. There it is. Can I rotate it? Oh yeah. Drone miners and most other buildings require power to function. Let's build a biomass generator on the same foundation as the drone miner. Once built, you need to harvest some plants and trees with your mining drill to collect biomass. Insert the biomass into the generator and it will start to power all buildings on the same foundation as the generator. What's this missing building foundation? Let's see. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, yeah, now we got no power. That's better. Well, I should have been listening about this whole biomass thing. How do I pick stuff up? Craft a biomass burner. Got it. Now I just gotta wait for it. Let's go ahead and put the biomass burner foundation here. Okay, so biomass. Oh, maybe we'll put it here. Yep. Go watch your mining drones acquire your first automated ore. Aren't they beautiful? Anyways, we need to get going. Let's build a smelter next. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. So now you want me to build a smelter? So I need... Plates, machinery parts, and electronic components. Uh, so we just need to go get more plates and stuff. No biggie. Maybe a small biggie. Let's go ahead and put the small smelter out. The smelter is more efficient than the inbuilt drop pod smelter, so you should start using this from now on. Another benefit is that we can automate the smelters to make our life easier. For this, you need to connect the drone miner to a smelter by using loaders and conveyor belts. Let's start by crafting the required machines. Two loaders, one for the smelter and one for the drone miner, as well as a few belts to connect them. We're gonna need to go mine more of the blue stuff. I will notify mission command on our progress. Communication link establishment failure. Curiously, I find myself unable to make contact with mission command. It could be a technical anomaly. 
I shall persist in my attempts. You do that. I'm sure there's more ores we're going to find. So far, I do like the simplicity of this compared to Satisfactory. Um, but I have a feeling that's going to go out the window shortly. Alright. What do we need to build... Invaders. Where does it load it from? Now we need two loaders. Machinery parts. How many did I need? the machines necessary to connect the drone miner to the smelter. Now, attach a loader to each machine and connect them with conveyor belts. Okay. The control link remains non-responsive. Our objective is near completion and immediate guidance from mission command is required. So where do you, like... Where does stuff come out of it? I guess that's what the loaders are for, huh? Okay. Oh, how do I get it to turn again?
and that works. Okay. View info tutorial task first production line press F2. Okay. Great. We connected the machines and have automated the tedious process of moving items by hand. Isn't automation great? Now it's time to scale up and build more smelters. Huh? A single belt full of ore can feed multiple smelters using the power of loaders. The info database has a diagram if you need one. A loader only adds enough items at a time to a machine to ensure it doesn't stop. This makes it easy for you to have multiple machines fed by a single long belt. Huh. Okay. I think it's probably more efficient to go set up this setup over here too. So, I guess let's grab the plates that are here. And we'll go grab whatever is over at the main station. And we'll go set up another factory. Okay, so we know we need four on it. Okay. We need a drone miner, a biomass burner, a smelter, we're gonna need two loaders. It's almost done. Might as well mine while we wait for the power. And let's throw some biomass in there. Smelter. There it is. Okay, so we've now fully automated both of these, which is nice for us. To its point, though, it sounds like we could do more. So we need two more smelters, might as well just make those and figure out putting them down. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, 